so I just want this to be clear. We are going hiking on a super beautiful hike today. And what are you guys doing? I don't doing? even know what the hike is. It's gonna be a beautiful hike. What's the name of the hike? Beautiful hike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you guys so can have fun on the hike. What will you be doing? Chilling by the pool. Ah, oh, okay. And walking down to my grandpa's house. Oh yeah, you're, you're gonna do a five minute hike down. Yes. Hill, down right? yes. We're gonna run down and make more eggs. Okay, very good. Well, have fun. a million. Alright, so where are we going? Sorry, the name of this hike is? Oriole. Oriole, okay. Yeah, Oriole. Yeah. Where's the blueberry kiss again? Is it kiss? Oh, there's right a trailhead there. right there. Welcome to Oriole, you were right. So this is our first trailhead in Montserrat. Welcome to Oriole Walkway Nature Trail. And this is the awesome parking for the nature trail. Oh, parking's full. And the road to get here looks something like this. Alright. So, John, are we ready? We're ready. All Going right. up Oriel Walkway. And we have two friends with us today, Mano and Sarah, joining us. Because our two daughters abandoned us. In Guadeloupe, we paid to see a plantation of cocoa trees. And look here, they're growing freely in the forest. I don't remember which variety this would be, but the rats get to them, you see. Unfortunately, they're all empty, you see. That's maybe why they needed to be in a plantation to be protected. size of this tree is actually going to show up on video, but Sarah, go up to it so they can see the difference between. Do you mind? No. Thank you. Oh. So this is Sarah going up to it, obviously. You, no, that's fine. We see you now. We can definitely see the size difference. You're like an ant. This is the first uh, heliconia that we see. It's heliconia? Heliconia or flower of paradise. They are protected here, apparently, for the hummingbirds. We've got a hanging vine here. Just dangling from a branch up high. So what are these? These are mammy apples. It's a, the taste of it is like between the apricot and peach. Oh. And they're like orangey inside, mm. the flesh. Any uh, And they're pips? very good. Pips in the middle? Or? No, no, I don't, no, not that I remember, so but probably are. are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I've never had them ripe, but oh. I know what they taste because so somebody had can't buy them here either. No. They just grow in the yeah, forest. Yeah, they grow in the forest. Well, we might not be able to yeah, taste yeah. them, but they look like that. <laughs> <laughs> they get bigger though. top of Oriole Trail. Uh, it's a trail that actually connects to another trail which actually leads to the only museum of Montserrat. But for today we are going to go back the same way because if you do go on you end up uh, quite far from your car. So we'll do the other half another day. But the view is uh, spectacular.
on Oriole Trail, Manon explained to us that this is actually a fruit. It tastes something like a peach and an apricot mix. It's called a mammy apple, apparently. Maybe not its a Latin name, but we're going to try to open it up, show you what it is. It's supposed to be orange on the inside. Yeah, I think it's ready. Oh, that was the seed, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I can see what it is. So it's supposed to be like a real orange color. I'm thinking it's, well, it's not in the season for it. Just really sad because I wanted to taste this, but we've tried. All this in the house, right? So these are original pictures of the Beatles. Taken by Linda McCartney. Oh yeah, you can see her signature right here. And then Set this up. He was a, Hi, folks. We're oh, talking yeah. with. Hi, folks. We're talking with Tom at the oldest house before dinner. And Tom actually organizes a really cool event on Montserrat that you can't miss if you come here. So, can you tell us more about what it is? That cool event is, <laughs> is a, a clone of what people have come to think of as the Pop Idol Contest. Uh, the American Idol Contest, the British Pop Idol Contest. We call it the Montserrat Idol Contest. Very nice. It runs for about two and a half months. Uh, I usually start with about 10 people. This year I'm, I've got more than that. I started with 13. The idea is to eliminate one a week. And then you get down to where you have three people at the end uh, for the final, which picks the winner. That's usually in, uh, this year it's going to be the first week in April. And where is this held? Where do you do this? The, the, each round is held at the bar I own on Little Bay, okay. which is called Soka Cabana. Soka Cabana. And it's big enough to hold maybe, uh, you know, between 70 and 100 people. Very and nice. we usually get that many. The place is usually full to standing room only. <laughs> really? And uh, so each of the individual rounds is held there. The final we do at the Cultural Center, which is the island's big um, entertainment venue, uh, which holds 400, 500 people. Very and, nice. Uh, Very so nice. that's that's how it works, and it's uh, it's extraordinarily popular. If you're coming, make sure you get there early. Yeah, can't miss that. Definitely a must-do on your list. What do you order? I ordered a pot pot. So, what would you guys like to have? I'll have the cheesecake. You're having cheesecake? I have to say, we have mixed emotions going through these ruins. So this used to be a really posh hotel called Montserrat Hot Springs. And even the hot springs are buried under the ash right now. We saw receipts with guest names on them and how much they paid and just everything was left as I guess they had to run out of here really really quickly it's too bad